What's up everyone, iShot Gamers here bringing you another really quick guide because I've seen a few videos lacking the most important tips to taming a gas bag, which we'll get to here in a moment. First let's go over the basics real quick, then I'll explain this huge taming tip and lastly we'll go over how to use it without killing it on landing impact. Gas bag is a new dinosaur exclusive to the Extinction expansion. It looks like some kind of lava worm that also wants to be a bull. Its primary use is caravanning heavy loads long distances for you with its interesting new flight mechanic and 3000 plus carry weight. It can be found almost anywhere in the wasteland zone. Its saddle can be learned at level 43. Another thing you might notice is when you place the saddle on it, it appears to be in the wrong place. It's not actually wrong. You can bring a passenger on these guys. Its taming method is knockout. Its preferred food is vegetables. Its kibble will be superior kibble. You can carry it with all the different wyverns or quetzals. If you kill it and harvest it, it can drop raw meat, hide, and gas bag bladder, which can be used to craft delivery crates. I haven't used this item yet, it seems a bit sketchy as it can be shot down by other players, and even if it makes it to your target destination, it will destroy itself on landing and the items inside will drop into a cache that begins to expire based on your server spoil times. And it takes medium poops. With that out of the way, let's talk about taming. Here's the huge tip that others seem to be missing from what I've seen. When you find a gas bag in the wild, it's most likely inflated, meaning it's sucked up air. When inflated, they take reduced torpor, like five times reduced, I believe. You can deflate them with snow owls and other freezing methods. Personally, I'm using the snow owl to deflate it and then trank it before it reinflates. As you see here, when it's inflated, it's being hit for seven, but after deflating them, it hits for 35. It will likely use its gas jet to try to escape while you try to knock it out. Just keep following it on your snow owl and freezing it to deflate it again. Wait till the ice melts off it and then shoot it right away before it can inflate. After you knock it out, just protect it and feed it veggies to tame. It takes superior kibble or vegetables. I believe you can also use miojo berries, but it's going to be much, much slower. I definitely recommend getting some uh, veggies. Let's talk about its different abilities real quick and how to not commit suicide on it while flying it around because this is really easy to do. First off, its left click is a weak melee attack. Pretty useless. Its right click will suck in air. You'll see it filling up on the bottom left of your action bar. Once you've filled up the air bladder, if you hit space bar, it'll take off in the direction your camera is facing. You can control it in the air with WSAD, but doing this consumes more air, or which is your fuel basically. And if you use all your air before you hit the ground, you'll take 40% of your maximum health. This will kill it if you're below 40% of your maximum health or on the third landing. So the first landing would take 40%, the next one would take another 40 and you'd be down to 20% and the third one will kill you. The way you negate this is to maintain some air in your bag before you land. So what you want to do is once you leap into the air with spacebar, you want to stop hitting WSAD in order to stop expending extra gas and you should have plenty left over when you hit the ground to absorb the landing. Then you fill back up, take another jump and you're good to go. You can also use the C button to expel its air forward, knocking back any small dinosaurs in front of you. If you've got a buddy with a snow owl, it's not a bad idea to have him roll along with you. That way, if you do unaccidentally take extra damage, they can quickly heal you up with the snow owl's right-click freezing healing ability. The most important stats on this guy are going to be weight and oxygen. The weight goes up tremendously per single point you put in it. I was getting a couple hundred weight per point. The oxygen will also increase its bladder size, which will allow you to fly and float longer and be less likely to take damage on impact from landing. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this short video, make sure to like and subscribe, as YouTube really does not reward me for these short videos. They want your videos to be 10 minutes long, so you gotta waste 10, 15, 20 minutes just to get five minutes of info. So if you appreciate that, please like, subscribe, share, and so on. Thanks a lot, guys. I really do appreciate you. Peace.